This show is brought to you by TimBlackTV.com. News for people who can't stand the stand, can't stand the news, but told to you in a way in, in a way that is entertaining as well as informative. Uh, the short of this week is cornbread. Don't let nobody take your cornbread. Go in the description box below and pick up that shirt and support independent media. And say, just let's look at it as your way of saying, hey, I kind of like what the brother do. I wouldn't mind him doing this some more. Now, when I saw this right here, guys, I laughed. Oh, I laughed. It's like, ha! I did a Jimmy Dore laugh. Ah! Laugh at this story. Neo Nazis. <laughs> Neo Nazis that, uh, you know, how many of you saw the Vice video with this guy, Christopher Cantell, who was. He was showing his ass. Oh, he was, you seen it? You guys seen it? Now, now he was acting very, uh, you know, tough guy. Oh, tough guy, huh? You the kind, you know, you the kind of like, you know, like to mix it up, huh? That's who you are, huh? That's how you roll, huh? You, yeah, I bet you beat all these black people as just beat them all to death with your bare hands, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah I bet you would. Mm. You know, oh, it got a lot of firepower. You saw him flashing guns. Oh, man, I'm a shit. You know, 16, 20, 35, 62. Any, any, who, huh? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Throwing stuff on the bed. Talking about the death of Heather Hire. You know, like, like she, you know, like, yeah, we got one. You know, we didn't kill anybody who didn't deserve to be killed. You know, talking just like horrible, horrific, and just like like he had the like he had the world's biggest nuts, and he just threw them on the bed like bam. You know, oh, gosh, and the room went dark, and they had to put his testicle outside the door to continue the rest of the conversation. I'm telling you, Christopher Cantwell was on Vice. Showing all of his neo-Nazi ass just. You got that? You got that little lady? Oh, you got that, huh? When I watched that video, I had respect for him. Sure, I thought he was a piece of human waste with the ability to walk and speak. But I respected him. I respected him as being a hardcore neo-Nazi uh, piece of shit. And hey, that's something. At least he's standing for something, man. In this world of flimsy spined, rubbery spined bastards who turn on each other at every bend and turn, even before there's a turn, they jump off the bike and shoot you in the back and, and then run and say you are bad and they just destroy one another. <laughs> but in this world of no ethics, just people who, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. I ain't got you. I thought you said you had me. I ain't got you. Ah, fuck you. Sorry, man. Had to take care of yourself. <clears throat> Did I had a, you know, I, some respect. I Don't get me wrong. I hated him. I didn't like him. I, I didn't, but you know, I, I felt like the man knew who he was. Like Scaramucci. Scaramucci doesn't give a crap. I don't like Scaramucci, but I like he doesn't care that I if I like him or not. So when I saw the follow-up <laughs> to this man, this neo-Nazi, who was so gutsy, so outgoing, so flamboyant with his fresh uh I I just I just couldn't believe it. This same Nazi was crying in the video, literally crying in the video because he may have to go where the bad people are. He doesn't understand he's one of them. He's he's probably more deserving of jail than at least 60% of people in jail because 60% of people in jail aren't even in jail for violent offenses. But this same jackass, neo-Nazi jackass, who makes a living by spewing that hate garbage on some radio show, that's how he makes his money, he's in the business, is now crying because, well, he may have a warrant out for his arrest. Gosh, man, what's wrong? 
Sounds like can't well, can't jail. Come on, man. What kind of white nationalist is this if you scared to go to jail? White nationalists eat jail, eat years in jail like M&Ms. You know? That's what they do. This guy is a betray. He is a, he is a, he should be ashamed of himself. He's a sad excuse for a white nationalist, a sad excuse for a neo-Nazi. And maybe, just maybe, he was BSing the whole time. Maybe this is really who he is. He's a coward. <laughs> oh, I know I talked about killing all the mud people, but my cousin's a mud person and I love him. All that stuff I said wasn't true. He started bringing out his black friends. He got an Asian friend, black friend, a Jewish cousin, a Jewish friend. Come on, guys. Show him. See? Because he really is not who he says he is. I called it the tearful Cantwell seen in his video. Contrast starkly with the brash, angry person he displayed on Vice News. He's like... <laughs> You know when you cry and you rub it so people know you did it because they know you can't see it because they got a low resolution piece of crap camera or a phone and it won't show the tear. He did one of those moves. <laughs> he wanted you to feel sorry for him. His voice even cracked like, <laughs> got one of them in there. <laughs> they want to lock me up. <laughs> yeah, he hit him with the <laughs> one of those. <laughs> he hit one of those out there. But I didn't know white guys could do that so well. Like, be a badass. Be like, like McGregor, right? Be a badass. And then, like, because the situation suits him, be like, I don't know, Clay Aiken. Not even Clay Aiken. Who? I don't even know. But that's amazing that you're able to transform yourself in record time. Like, do it, like, on the money. I just thought it was hilarious. And I'm, I'm wondering, are there neo-Nazis watching this from prison, like, Okay. I just think it's probably not a good, it's not a good situation for Mr. Cantwell. Cantwell can't jail. He can't jail. <laughs>